Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. This is going to be a quick breakdown of that great game between Finland and Germany, where one of the top prospects in the draft um, was able to have a very good game in Brad Lambert, who had an assist on both of Hellenius's goals in this tilt. Samuel Hellenius was able to play a great game as well as one went off of him where Lambert was able to grab it off the boards on great boards play by the Finns. And then we were also able to have a goal by Luca Musenberger, who was on a power play on a broken play that was assisted by Alexander Blank, who lost the puck. And then Musenberger was able to get it, the Edmonton Oilers prospect, and pot it in on a wrist shot um, in between... <clears throat> the glove and pad of Mira Line in there who played a absolutely hell of a game. He's definitely a star of this game. I would probably put him third star of this game with how good uh he manned the crease and net. And then Nikita Quap, uh the prospect of uh, Mira Line and the prospect of Ottawa playing great. And then Nikita Quap, the prospect for Carolina played a very good game for Germany as well, making some key saves to keep them in the game as well. Where Germany really <clears throat> battled in this game, excuse me, to stay in the tilt. Well, Finland had an absolutely killer second period, which is what pounced them. But Germany beat them in shots in the third period. Actually really battled well in this game. It showed that they had a full bench, and it showed that they're really here to play this year. They just the, the better team prevailed in the end, and Finland has a very deep roster and has for years now. That's why them, the USA, and Canada have all won three since 2013. They've been fielding great teams, getting better each year. The Finnish league continues to progress and get better. So obviously, <clears throat> doing great. The Dell also continues to progress and get better. But when you lose guys like Paterka and Stutzla, that's damning losses to Germany. And they still played a hell of a game. So uh, that's very good stuff to look for. For Germany as well, Musenberger played a good game. Adrian Klein, uh, who's eligible in this year's draft, uh, he played a very good game. So, I mean, it's great to see. I thought Volek also played solid as a uh, forward. Samoski, um, Rutalski had a couple chances. So, like, Germany had guys playing well. It's just they were not able to prevail against the better team. The Finns played a good game. Joachim Kemmel, the 2022 draft eligible Kemmel, also played a good game. Yo, Mato was very good out there. He took a bad penalty, uh, but he had a rebound goal after it was a battle of two teammates, too. Mata plays at the University of Vermont, and then Luca Musenberger plays at the University of Vermont, and Mata was able to get the best of his Vermont teammate, Musenberger, as Finland beat Germany 3-1 to one because, really, they were just a very aggressive team. Great among the boards, got the puck off of the German sticks, very good. And then were able to play, make, and get up the ice to have some goals. Of course, the first goal from Hellenius was a very fortunate goal. But they had a good rotation of the puck to be able to have the one-timer from Himosami, um, who's Carolina's prospect, to be able to get it to Joel Mata for the rebound goal. Well, that was good rotation to get it up top and be able to have the one-timer. So it was a very, very good overall play by the Finns in this game. The stars of this game... Um, as I've said already, uh, would be the third star would be Mira Linen for playing a great game. Actually, the third star would be Nikita Kwok because he's a losing goaltender. I thought he played very well keeping Germany in the game. Um, it combined <clears throat> as well with Musenberger. I would say they're kind of tied for the third star, but Nikita Kwok played great. So you have to give it to him. And then Hellenius, who scored two goals, has to be the first star which the second star at that point, just with how good he played in the preliminary game and then was able to pot a goal in this game after still getting used to North American hockey, not having a point yet at Vermont. Joel Mata, I would say, is the second star of this game. But this was a very good game, a very good battle by Germany uh, to be able to battle in the third period, beat them in shots, uh, be able to also beat them in shots by one. But the second period, also the difference maker of this game, I would say, the damning difference maker for Germany, was when they couldn't score on that power play at the beginning of the third. That's when they really could have made a difference. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed the first game of the World Juniors of 2022. This has been a reaction to Germany losing 3-1 to to Finland as the Finns played a great first game, pressured them really well, and then were able to pounce and make great plays on the other end. Lambert had a great game with two assists, and then Hellenius was the player of the game with two goals. Um, for the Finns and the Musenberger, that's great for Edmonton to see him continue to progress very well. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great day and enjoy the rest of the World Junior Tournament.